What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Plika. I'm Jerome. I'm Nick. And I'm Hess. Today we're talking about Better Call Saul, Season 4, Episode 7, Something Stupid. They finally did it. They did the time jump they've been talking about for four seasons now. Yeah, it was funny because it kind of, like, at first I'm like, oh, look, they're drifting apart. But then it didn't even dawn on me that, Yeah, like, and then, like, we didn't, like, you saw the first date and then the second date. And then by the time we saw, we're like, oh, fuck, they're skipping time here. Yeah. I, I, thought yep. that, that was, I thought that was pretty cool that they did that. It was it was a unique way to do it too, like kind of almost like perfect timing on that. Yeah, kind of. Like like it, it fit really good doing that because like nothing really was going on. Hector's in a coma, he's just waking up. Like everything fit perfect for that. What's funny? So, I don't know. Like, the like 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 they're drifting apart, and I was like, okay, this is where they start like separating. Like maybe yeah. I'm, I'm like I'm having thoughts in the episode. Na- like, now I think they just I don't think anything bad happens. I think they just drift apart. Before, that, well, that's what I'm thinking the whole episode, yeah. and then and then she's like at the end she calls it. Wait, Jimmy, I got an idea, and I'm like, well, wait, then then she's not drifting. Like, yeah, but, but maybe I, but that's I think just it's gonna. Small. I think I think that's just them like her, almost like a last trying thing. Right. Maybe. Um, which did you guys ha- do? You guys have anything that you think she's gonna do with those? Because I read something on Reddit that I thought was interesting. You have, I have no, you have no idea. idea. Did you have anything before? Because I already told you. Um, I thought she's gonna donate them to the poor. Oh, no, no, I have no idea. <laughs> I got an idea. Let's just be good. No. Uh, I read on Reddit, which I thought that I, we had some time because you were watching the episode on the app. Um, this, sure, this, sure. this guy said that he thinks that she, they're going to protest for Huel and either say that he is a victim from a racist cop or they're going to protest the prosecutor. I was wondering if they were going to go the racist route. Well, I, I was wondering if she was going to throw that like when she was talking to that lady. Yeah, but that that never occurred to me. But I read that and I was like, "Oh, that's interesting." I well, like it is that. funny that like so like she named the five other people that did that stuff. Right, dude mm-hmm. hit him in the head with a sandwich. Which yeah, I, I don't right. know why it knocked him over. Well, because it was in a bag, so I guess I kind of like. But I, still, he's yeah. kind of a pussy. Um, but uh, I f- I felt bad for Hugh the whole time. Yeah. I really like him. He's got the most odd shaped head. Yeah, <laughs> no, he really does. But he's such a cool guy too. He's he's like one of the few characters that actually looks older. It's because he's yeah. lost weight. I was gonna say stuff. He, you can tell he's lost weight, but it almost fits because because then you think he him looks yeah. younger. Yeah, yeah, which is cool. Um, but uh, I like this episode a lot. Yeah, I did too. It was, I think it's one of the best of the season. But. Uh, and once again, it ended, and I was like, "God damn it!" I, yeah, I literally said that. I was like, "Mother!" I know when it ended. They've done that <laughs> was, really good. I was this waiting. Season. I'm like, I'm like, all right, cool. I'm like, where, where are we gonna go with this? And then I was like, uh. I'm like, nope, never mind. <laughs> Which <laughs> reminds know. me, next week, I won't be able to watch the episode on Monday, so we're yeah, probably gonna we're gonna, do gonna we're gonna have to do it. It'll come out later on Tuesday. Yeah, for next week's episode, which is only three nice. left. I can't believe it. Yeah, I know. I know. Like this season flew by. It's been a really good season. Yeah, it has been really, really good. I have been missing Nacho. Yeah, thank and I God. Was gl- in the teaser, they show he's in next episode. Thank God. I was hoping. I was like, oh, since like six months has passed, he's not going to be sleeping at his dad's anymore. Hopefully, oh, he'll do it something. Like, it was like nine months. It, it was. It was a while. I was like, hopefully, yeah. he, but he wasn't doing anything. Yeah, um, but I mean, he, they didn't need him in this episode. Nothing happened that we would have seen him for. No, but you know what? That didn't even occur to me that time passed on them so time passed on everybody else also yeah like it just it just until you said that i was like oh yeah duh um so what'd you guys think about the hector and gus stuff that went on this episode okay so at first i thought it was funny that when he was like checking out the girl and all yeah that. he knocks over the cup and, and then he, he, he doesn't have his belly yet he's just like tapping on the table that's doing pretty this cool. shit um i thought that was funny i'm like oh he said he so he's still a perv like yeah. you know what i mean yeah. so and then, but when Gus watches it, and Gus is like, "Okay, you've done enough. You can go home now." He yeah. just wants him in that state, and I was like, "Wow!" That's and she's up. like, "Wait, are you sure? Like, we could, we could, he could potentially talk and walk again." He's like, "I don't know. I'd say your expectations let's pretty temper low. Our, yeah, let's temper our expectations." Yeah, I was like, yeah. "Oh, that's that's kind of cool, though." And he looked evil as fuck. Yeah, he, or mischievous, whatever you want. He, he's like, it. "Oh, he's fully there. He just can't move, and that's exactly how I want him." Yeah, and. I was like, oh, so he's the one stealing the... Was it oranges? What the hell was he selling before? Well, and, yeah, but that, I, I was going to say that he told that story, and that's exactly what I'm... Like, yeah. That's what he wants to do with him. Like, he just wants to keep him alive. Yeah. As, as like, a pet or, what you know, and torture him, basically. Mm-hmm. Spoiler, it doesn't last very long. Yeah, it no. ends in an explosive way. <laughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> um... But I liked that. I I really liked his like him watching that and was like, oh no no, let's just keep him. It's funny because in Breaking Bad, obviously, I, when he blows Gus up, mm-hmm. 
I'm rooting for it because it's Walt. Yeah. And I'm one of the people that I never switched on Walt. I, I rooted for Walt to the end, and I didn't want him to die. I wanted him to kill everybody and go away. I, I did originally, and then rewatching it made me, I realized I don't like him as much. I still, rewatching it, I still liked him as much. I never wanted him to kill Jesse. I always didn't like him oh, when yeah. he did stuff to Jesse. Yeah, that always pissed me off. But I still rooted for Walt the whole time, and then you root against Gus, but yet in this, I somehow root for Gus. It's weird. Yeah, no, I do. Because he's like a mastermind, so I want, I just, some of the shit he does is so cool. It, it was cool, too, in this episode, seeing them actually build the meth lab down below. Yeah, I, was, I thought that was really cool. Yeah. yeah. And then that one fucker backs up and knocks the pipe down. Yeah, he almost hit Mike, or whoever that, who, like, it landed, like, right next to him. It, it was pretty cool, too, when Mike yelled at them in German. I like that. Yeah, that was I saw cool. they tweeted out from the Better Call Saul Twitter account, Mike's it, Mike's even scarier when he's yelling at you in German or something like that. Well, I, I, as soon as he said it, I'm like, of course Mike speaks German. What it's doesn't good, he that, do? That one guy's teaching him, though. That, that was pretty neat. Yeah, so he's, like, slowly learning. Yeah. Yeah. That, that, that was kind of cool. I didn't expect him and that guy to kind of become friends a little bit, but that was kind of no, cool. No, and I... I expected that other guy to be dead this episode. So did I. But then that guy, it seemed like that guy kind of talked him into keeping him. He's like, yeah, no, they're like, they're boys, but, you know, I need yeah, him. He's like good at he this. Yeah, he needs him. But he also said they only need to do one more explosion. So after that one explosion. Yeah, you never know. Yeah. Yeah, he's probably going to maybe explode with that explosion. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's here. Just stay here for a second. Yeah. That's cool. I didn't think about that, too, because they were saying, yeah, we need one more for the elevator. And I was like, oh, yeah, they used that in Breaking Bad. Yeah. Like, like that really would suck. Like, you're indoors all the time like yeah but, you know what i mean yeah, yeah but in the end they're gonna make a lot of I money i think they're getting and they're, they've already mentioned a couple times how they're getting compensated really well yeah well i'm sure they are but still i mean you want to go outside you want to fucking you can suck it up for how yeah i mean we see it next, well they've been next, down there for what eight nine months already next episode they're gonna go to a strip club so i think they'll be fine yeah, that's, um, I, I mean if you can uh, say they got a million dollars would you suck it up for eight months i would yeah I mean, yeah, but I might complain about it. He would totally complain about it. Yeah, you would it. complain. Mike would kill you. It would all be <laughs> I mean, I, I would do it. I would do it, but I would complain about it, I think. Yeah, and then yeah. Yeah. and then Mike would kill you. Yeah. Good yeah. job. Now you're, now you're, you're dead never, and out of a million And you'll never make it to Breaking Bad. Yeah, don't That's you want to okay. meet Walt and Jesse? What did you just say? <laughs> I said, don't you want to meet Walt and Jesse? Of course I do. <laughs> That's funny. No, I mean, I. it's one of those things, I mean, you knew it going in, so... What good's complaining going to do about it? Yeah, they knew they were going to no, be there for I, a while. He's just that dude. Th- See, I don't picture you like that guy that's in there complaining because he's more of a dick. No. You yeah. know what I mean? No. Uh, See, I, yeah, I don't know. Like, he would, he didn't even complain about being there. Did he? he just w- made fun of Mike. Called yeah. him an old fart or right. whatever. So. Naps are for old farts like you. And we're, I mean, they're they're making us not like the guy a lot. Yeah, on purpose. Some, yeah. For sure. Like, I feel like the guy has to die or something's going to happen at some point with him like that. I was hoping Mike. Mike would just beat the shit out of him. I was kind of hoping that too. But I yeah. thought, like, when he was going in there, they had that little short kind of montage where they were in the truck and all that. I thought that was going to happen, but then they just brought them to the lab. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I swear to God, these episodes should be, like, three hours long. It'd be so much more fulfilling. I know. Like, this, this episode, it felt like I was watching, like, an episode of Silicon Valley or Barry, like a half-hour show. Yeah, this is the same fucker that like when we started. He goes, I don't know, this this show's pretty boring. Yeah, I, I didn't. I I was still saying I didn't like the first two seasons of Better Call Saul. I bet if you rewatch them, you would enjoy yeah, them. More. I have for season three, and I enjoyed them a little more. But I really, really like season three, and I really, really like this season. Yeah. And there's moments of the first two I like, but it, but but it, like it kind of lead. Much. It just leads up to all this, though. Yeah. It, yeah. Yeah. And it, it's a slow burn. Yeah. yeah, it definitely is. Yeah. But I've, maybe you may be right. Maybe if I rewatch it like Bra- Breaking uh, Bad was, like it, Breaking Bad doesn't feel slow when I rewatch it now. Oh no, no, not at all. Every, everybody says it is now. Yeah, they call it Breaking Bad a slow burn, and I literally rewatched it when I was on vacation, and couldn't believe how and like how many people were dying and how quick like Gus and Mike were in the show and all this shit. And I was like, holy fuck, how is this slow? Like yeah, I mean, all they, this I mean, shit they, kill, going on. they kill someone first episode. Yeah, it's just like crazy. Yeah, uh, yeah. So, they're playing. They're playing for the long game. So what else happened in this? We got Hugh got arrested. Hugh got arrested. Kim's gonna help him. Kim's buying supplies. The, what'd you guys think about that party scene with Saul when he was kind of pissed, <laughs> he was pissing off that one guy? He kept saying expensive places. He doesn't like that. that guy. Yeah, because he in the back when they were doing the Sandpiper Crossing thing, he was going up against him, and he didn't take him seriously. Mm-hmm. Right. So I think he was just you know trying to make it, it trying to make an asshole out of him, trying to get him into a point where he you know he 
looked like an asshole. Yeah, it seemed like everybody else was kind of like okay with it. Well, they all started but, gathering but, around there. At the yeah, end, like. yeah, but Kim, <laughs> Kim, and that guy seemed the most uncomfortable because Kim knew what he was doing. Yeah, yeah, and that guy knew what he was doing. I, I like everyone else was like, "Fuck, we get to go to Aspen." I know. I, I liked in the car, too. She's like, well, that was interesting. He's like, it sure was. And then, like, just flipped on the radio. Yeah, like, he's not the same. Yeah, no. Like, you can slow... I mean, obviously, the whole point of the show is him to become Saul. But, mm-hmm. like, there's just, like... Like, he's like, yeah, okay. I'm gonna do it my way, then. Like, yeah, he when he drives off from her after He the... wouldn't have done that. Yeah, like, yeah. two seasons ago? There's no fucking way. No. I, yeah. I, I do like that, though, because she kind of was the same way to him when he was in her office. Yeah, oh, yeah. That, well, that was, I, I think I, I a think, lot of it is... What were you going to say? Go ahead. No, I was going to say, I think pissed I him off. <laughs> okay. You go first. <laughs> <laughs> I was just going to say, I think a lot of it has to do with they've drifted apart, so he's kind of like, like I feel like that has uh, enticed him to be more, like, I don't give a fuck attitude. Towards, oh, for sure, yeah. yeah. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. Well, because they drift, you know, when people drift apart, you just they're just not in your lives anymore. Yeah, you, you, you don't, you get don't the care work. as much. Yeah. yeah. You still right, for like, sure. like he still loves her. He's still and all that stuff, but it's just she's not there and he's getting used right. to it. Yeah. Like I think they showed it like perfectly when they did the split in the beginning and at the very end it fades to black but only on her side. Yeah. Right. Just yeah. to show that like she's not really in his life anymore. Yeah. Like I mean she he's been selling phones for six, nine months or whatever. She had no idea and well, they only told her because Huel got arrested, otherwise she'd have no idea still. Well, and like she's putting all those um the awards up the awards up for the things and he goes in her office and like he's measuring out which first of all she doesn't care how big the office is yeah no and like she's all proud of these awards and he had no idea that she even got them yeah yeah i mean that's it, not a good they're just sign to- I, yeah i feel i feel like by the end of the season they might be completely apart i could see that and then i still feel like season five is the last season so do i which will suck yeah, but yeah i think it's leaning towards that for sure yeah which i mean but it'll ma- be make, fantastic makes sense i mean they can only go on for so long because I wouldn't be surprised if we if we see Walt or Jess, like, into this season. Well, no, they said they're not going to be in this season, but they, oh, they won't they, be in this season. But they will be in it before. I would be before, very surprised. Yeah, but they will be in it before it ends. Both of them. I would be very surprised, but I wouldn't put it past them. Because if you're yeah. going to put Walt or Jesse in it, would you tell us? I know that's what I've said. Of course you so, would. So yeah, if so. it's going to happen this season, it'd be the last episode. Like, I last swear scene. to God, when that guy pulls up the fucking. I yeah. thought it was gonna be like Badger or something. He like throws on the phone and they did, and then they flash on the guy. I thought it was gonna be Badger. I was, I wanted it to be Jesse, uh, Skinny Pete. Or did you call him Long John? <laughs> that was a mistake. <laughs> um, some something, and then it was just some dude. Yeah, they yeah. they they had the car. They were playing music. Yeah. Like they set it up for us to think like, oh, is that Badger or somebody? And like, I we, would I would even take like someone like. He gives him the phone. And someone drives away and it just says Captain Cook on the fucking. Yeah. Yeah. And we just that. see like a guy in a beanie drive off. Like we don't even get to see his yeah. face. We just know that that's Jesse in there. Yeah. That would have been cool. Yeah, except he'd be in fucking high school. That, that's even better. He's starting the, that. That thing that'd be cool too to see something like that. Like they might have to do some de aging stuff on Aaron Paul. Yeah. Go. Well, you know he's in Westworld now. They can. Yeah, they can. Yeah. What the fuck? That's gonna be so <laughs> awesome. Yeah. Um. But all right, I think that's the end of uh, this week's Better Call Saul. You guys got anything else you want to say? No. All right. Well, (laughs) on that note, thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe, comment down below what you thought about this week's Better Call Saul, and we'll see you guys next week.